everybody, I'm In The Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to In The Little Box, the P.O. Box show on the channel, where I open your mail, we've got lots of it again this week, I've sort of gave, oh, I've already dropped a piece, <laughs> I've taken pieces all scattered from throughout the previous months, oh my god, I hope there was nothing fragile in any of these pieces, and I open them, and I read them, and we have a good old time, it's fun. If you ever want to send anything to the show, the address is In The Little Wood, P.O. Box 10224, Nottingham NG50GX, all the information is down below in like every every single video that I do. Uh, like, I don't know if you've noticed this, in the description of every video I put my Twitter, Facebook, website, mailbox, email address, and all that sort of good stuff. Or, you can go to my website over there, in the littlewood.com. The brand new Dead Mouse video is on there. And today, I'm gonna put a blog post on there about how awesome the Sapling community did in June, because June was my first month doing this as a job, and we smashed it. We smashed it, it was good. Uh, very quickly before we start as well, uh, Amazon wishlist. <laughs> That was kind of crazy this week. So I mentioned last week that I have an Amazon wish list where I put stuff on there like chocolates and stuff so you don't have to send me chocolates because that's a bit sketchy. But if you buy them off Amazon, you know, Hershey's Kisses, then I'm fine with that. You know, it comes from Amazon, a trusted seller, that sort of stuff. It's good. And then there's, there was also stuff on there that I was saving up for or stuff that I put on the list and I'm going to buy at the end of the week when I get paid. Um, people bought everything. Literally everything. Like um, speakers... People bought speakers, uh, people bought me a uh, new RAM for my computer, 8 gigabytes. people brought me a classic Wii controller thing, people bought me Blu-ray uh, box edition of Lord of the Rings extended, all three movies, there are 15 discs in this thing, in there, there's 5 discs in each of them, it's ridiculous, uh, what else did people buy me, oh my god, I can't even think now, there was just so much stuff and I was like completely, somebody bought me an Xbox! Somebody literally bought me an Xbox, because my Xbox, I've had it since 2006, and I was kind of like, oh my god, it's starting to get a bit, you know, dodgy now. That's why the first recording stopped a little bit, because it's starting to break down. I was like, okay, I get paid at the end of the month, I'm going to do it, and then it was already bought. I was like, oh my god, and something completely unrelated, I bought this myself uh, when they had the free shipping on the t-shirts last week for, uh, for International T-Shirt Day. I bought one of these, finally. Audience? What? <laughs> Hello once again, audience. When we left off, I was showing off my Tabuscus hoodie. Ah, Tabuscus! But anyway, yeah, uh, thank you very, 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 very much to anybody who bought anything on the wish list. Uh, people have been sending donations through PayPal as well. That's a little bit crazy, um, because people don't realise they can do that. Some people want to help out more, and I'm telling them to subscribe to the stream. That's a way of helping, but people want to send more than $5. It's like... Oh, what do I do? So, yeah, thank you for that. There's a donate button on the website on the littlewood.com, a PayPal thing, and there's the Amazon wish list with chocolates on. So let's get in to the first mail piece uh, today. I am going to go for this one just here, because I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of painting that stands up, and I'm going to get my sword as well. There's my sword. At. I have the sword. There we go. Right, now I need to stab this and just sort of like ninja warrior it. Oh my god, I should have used this all last week, but I didn't get a chance to use it. But yeah, I'm, oh, last night, by the way. I don't know if anybody saw the stream last night. That got a little bit out of hand, didn't it? You know, the, ooh, that's nice, ooh, that's nice. Um, I'll put a link in the description to what we were going on about. But the guy that actually ended up becoming the face of it, unintentionally, um, messaged me this morning. I don't know how he found out about it, but obviously the Sapling community made it like invisible to everyone and it was just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous redonkulous even i'm trying to break into this thing have you seen this thing it's literally covered in uh tape so i'm having a bit of a tough time get through it oh i'm trying not to stab myself in the process it's not exactly a sword that will you know penetrate skin but it's just going to hurt in general if it suddenly lunges at me and the sword is actually bending it's not good for this tape oh come on oh god Oh no, wait, I'm nearly there. If I just open the top, I can slide it out. That's what she said? Said? No? I don't know. Hang on. Uh, oh god, this is the worst start possible. Ugh, it's gonna be like five minutes until we actually get into the first piece of mail. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get a butcher's knife for this. Whoever packaged this, I will. I will. Oh, come on! Is it, is it there? Is it there? Have we got it? Oh my god, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. There we are. Oh, of course, now there's more stuff around it. Bubble wrap and more tape. Jesus. I suppose it's not going to be damaged, though, is it? Oh, my God. Uh, there we go. Sword into there. Oh, my God. Right. Right. We got it. We're nearly there. Jesus Christ. 
again, my room is going to be an absolute mess once we finish this show today. But there we are. Right, here we go. Uh huh. There is a letter with it, and there is a picture. <laughs> I love this. This is from uh, Joel Elwin, apparently. And there you go. There's me on Flaming Bro. And uh, what does that say? Oh, it's the creeper going. I'll get you. I'll get you. So I'm going to put that. Can you see it there? No, let me put it up here, in between the speakers for this episode. There we go. Good. Can you see that? You can just about see that in the background. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh, it's a really short letter. There you go. Uh, it just says, Dear in the Littlewood, hope you like the fan art. Love the... Oh, love the videos from Garly... Garly Gecko Guy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, is that Gary? I think that says Gary Gecko Guy. If anybody can read that. If you see him in Minecraft, say hello to him, okay? Say hello to him. And congratulate him on, as well on making me like an idiot. Just because it was, it was so difficult to get into this thing. Oh my god, I'm going to pop that down there. There we are, good. Uh, let's open up this one. This one should be a simple swipe of the sword. Sim oh my god, there's tape all over my sword. No, that's... No, stop it. Stop it. There's <laughs> tape all over your sword. Ooh, that's nice. Right, okay. Cool. Let's open this bad boy up. There we go. Is there anything else in there? It feels a bit heavy, the envelope. Or is it just a... It's a generally heavy envelope. There we go. Good. <laughs> right, here we go. So, we have got... Uh, oh, hold on a minute. There's two little bits. Then this one afterwards. Okay, so I don't open that one just yet. Okay, here we go. <coughs> uh, greetings, Martin, from Norway. Hello. Um, my name is... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Johans? Johans? He says, just call me John, though. There you go. We found a John, Luke! We found a John! Um, random John. Good radio thing. Um, I'm 14 and I love your videos. I know you love lapis. It's as useless as a cool block. It's as use. Oh, sorry. It's useless, but a cool block. Um, I love a... I love a Bissar. Or special thing in Minecraft 2. Uh, I love the sugar canes. Ah, I see. I have an account which is named Mr. Uh, the Mr. Johnson. Uh, that's T H E M R J O N Z O N. The Mr. Johnson. Uh, by the way, if you search the Mr. Johnson in the seed generator, you will spawn in the village. That's pretty cool. I've never. I'm gonna have to try my name and see what the seed gives me. What should be the trolliest seed ever? Uh, by the way, uh, I've already read that bit. Sorry, you spawn in the village just in case you wanted to check the seed out. Uh, right, time for questions. Apparently, uh, what do you hate most about creepers? Um, I don't know. What do I hate most about creepers? I think I just hate how they sneak up on you for no, like out of nowhere. I mean, the last couple of weeks on my videos, you've seen it in Chestless. They literally come out of nowhere. I look across there. I look down the hole, I look back and there was a creeper there, and oh my god, it's terrifying. So I think the way they sneak up on you, and they don't hiss, that's that's the part that freaks me out. They're sneaky, the ninja-ness of them is what I hate about them. Uh, question two, have you lived in, in all your life in Nottingham, or have you moved there lately? Um, I've, it's weird. I lived for the first maybe four, four, li uh, four years of my life somewhere else, but... It's that age where I don't remember any of it. You know, you know when you're a kid, you don't, or when you're an adult or whatever, you don't remember anything at all from what happened when you were probably anywhere from five and under. You you re you remember particular things, but you don't remember the place. Like I only remember this one random wall in the middle of a field which people used to use for football, and that's the only thing I remember from the old place that I used to live. So I would say that I've lived in Nottingham all my life, just because. All of my memorable life, that's where it's been based. So, yeah, there you go. Um, sorry things are going so fast, but I have fan art for you. Uh, I almost forgot. If you have time or want to, please check out my channel. Uh, then I would love you more. No homo. It literally says no homo. It goes that, ooh, that face as well. Uh, sincerely, Johans, or John, as we call him. I'm going to put that there, because I will check out your channel afterwards. Uh, oh, snap. Oh, i got biceps. I mean, I don't really have any... Ooh, and my camera's low. No! Okay, the camera's really low right now. I think that might die. He said I had 50 minutes on it a second ago. Uh, but look, there's me with biceps. And I'm like, holding that creeper by the throat. I'm like, yeah, man, you could get it. Uh, oh, apparently I'm calling him a bastard. I'm like, you bastard! Um, <laughs> sorry if I failed with the creeper. No, you didn't fail the creeper. He looks a little bit like an octopus, but it's all good. So I'm fully expecting this camera to die at any given moment. So... Unfortunately, this today episode today might be really short. You told me I had 50 minutes, camera. Don't lie to me. Let's rush and get another letter opened. Uh, or a big envelope type thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Uh, can I get it? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, my God. I'm gonna, I'm, I keep looking over, expecting you lot to have disappeared at any given second. 
Okay, here we go. Right, let's open this up. There's actually some art on the envelope itself as well, so if you give me two seconds, I can show you that. Let me put those on top of me to busk his hoodie. Um, is that empty? Yes, it's empty. Okay, cool. So I'll show you the art that's on there. You probably just about see that. It's got a little ugu, a little ugu creeper on it, which is nice. Uh, and then there's, <laughs> I love that. Those are actually really adorable. I want to make a t-shirt with those on. You know the baby, the baby cows, the baby sheep, and the baby uh, pigs as well. Oh, they're adorable. Okay, I'm gonna put you down there. Okay, what we got? Whoa, oh, we got a few bits. Okay, I'll read the letter first, and I'll show you the fan art in a second. Let me, uh, oh, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. Okay, um, dear Martin, I'm just sending this letter uh, out after the Why I Am The Way I Am video. Oh, so this was on my vlog channel. If you didn't know, I've got a vlog channel. I'm actually starting up the vlog channel again. Uh, tomorrow. I've just been a little bit uh, busy this past month getting used to doing YouTube as a job But I think I've gotten into the swing of things now the sapling audience have you know sort of Adjusted to two videos a day and stuff and then the vlogs are going to start going up again, which is good So I'm looking forward to that um, He said I was sitting there with my mom and I visited your website saw the video and started to cry Oh, you might be wondering this person has never met me. I'm a stranger and then it's done a oh, I'm dropped it and then there's a little weird face for it See the little quotes and stuff. I like the way people lay the, le uh, the letters out sometimes. Um, but it doesn't feel that way. Maybe I'm just sensitive, but it feels like you've been my friend forever now. I'm, I'm, a lot of people have said this in the last couple of days, that they're glad that I talk to you, the saplings, because, you know, you're my audience. You're my friends. You're, you know, the people that I hang out with on the live streams and stuff. We talk all the time, and it should be like that. It shouldn't be... I've seen some comments from Total Biscuit and stuff. And by the way, he wants to strangle me, apparently, which is fun, following that... A little ooh, that's nice thing from last night, but um, but you know what? It's fine. I've seen some comments that you're saying to him. He goes, "Oh, you know, uh, you're replaced already," and it's like we don't really want to have that approach to it. But I don't know. Some people just are like that. Um, anyway, he says uh, it sucks that you've become numb to death and stuff. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things. Um, but I do know that you have courage, kindness, and passion. I do. I love what I do. Um, uh, the courage to put yourself out there on the internet and a passion for whatever it is that you do. I wish sometimes the world could be perfect and people live forever. We'd never have to lose our loved ones, but it's not this, uh, it's not the case. So we have to make the most of our time. Enjoy life. Uh, Sapling, love you. And that's apparently from Kiana. You see her name. Actually, I can't show you that because that's got their address, uh, the email address on it. So I can't show you that. But thank you, Kiana, for the letter. And there are actually a couple of pieces of fan art just here. Uh, when the world says give up hope. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. When the world says, give hope, whispers, give hope, whispers up, try it one more time. I mean, either way, that I can't read it properly, but look how awesome that piece of fine art is. You've got the earth down here, you've got the little sunshine up there, and you've got the nice quote. I like the typography that you've done with it as well. That's something that I got drilled into my noggin when I was at university, is typography. Oh, no! Sorry, everybody. Welcome back. Hi. Sorry. Um, the camera died. I'll show you it. He's a little... It's a little bit under the weather right now. Uh, there we go. It told me before I started recording that I had 50 minutes left. And I turned it on and about 15 minutes in, it just died. But look, there you go. Camera's dead. But hopefully I'll still be able to get the footage off of that, which is good. Uh, but let's do at least a couple more letters and then we'll wrap it up for today. Let's make it like a 20 minute video or something. Uh, there's still another piece of fan art from Kiana. This is actually quite an old one. Uh, this letter must be from quite a while back. This is when we did Cots at Christmas. And we were going through the Twilight Forest, and I asked people if they could do fan art in that style, which I thought was really nice. And then, this is actually the second piece that I've ever seen. Um, somebody did one on Facebook the other day, and I loved it. And it was IRL fan art, so it was fan art of me, my actual face and not my character. And, uh, and Kiana's done the same. She's done me uh, as a character. We just have to wait for the camera to adjust. I've been having some lighting issues with this webcam where... Actually, if I bring it further away... Uh, maybe if I do it in an angle... Hold on. If I put my hand up to the camera, it'll adjust the brightness for at least a second. There we go. Is that better now? I mean, it is generally quite sunny today. Maybe if I take it out of the, uh, maybe if I take it out of the little plastic wallet, you might be able to see it better. Oh my God, no! It's just super bright. You can just about see that. I think. There you go. Can you see that? You'd have to pause the video or something. <laughs> but there you go. Thank you, Kiana, for that. Whoa! Start it steady. Hold on. I'm gonna put both of those pieces. Actually, I'm gonna put all three of those pieces inside the little envelope thing. There we go. We pop those there. Right, let's open this one because I get the feeling I might have accidentally broken something here. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. He's even put the sapling seal on it as well. When you can see this, if you can see this, where is it? Just there, the sapling seal, which is good. Right, now let me open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Here we go. 
Oh my god, hold on, wait. What's going on here? There's a... Oh, ha <laughs> ha First time I've seen this. Oh my god, you've literally sent me a collection of giraffes. <laughs> Can you believe this? This is incredible. This is so good. Um, but yeah, there you go. I am having free giraffes. I'm having free giraffes. It's good. I like it. Uh, I'm going to put them... I'm going to put those next to the speakers. Uh, did it, can it, are they able to stand up or... Uh, nope, you're going to fall. Can that one stand up? Oh my god. Bal giraffes have terrible balance, I've noticed. But yeah, giraffes. Uh, I've got giraffes. Cool. So, uh, let me open this letter up. Let's see who this is from. Uh, oh, okay. So have you done some drawings? Whoa, that's actually... That's a really good drawing. Look at that. Oh my god, it's bright. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I can't record on the webcam anymore. Ooh, brightness. Come on. There you go. You've adjusted. There you go. Look at that. This isn't easy when you're trying to do white balance, but can you see the outline of it? It's a really good drawing. It's just that you can't really see it on the camera. It's not doing it as much justice. But know that it's awesome. Oh, that's a nice one, actually. Of my character's head. You've got, you're pretty good with proportions, actually, I'm noticing. So there you go. You, you can't really see it because it's pencil, but can you see that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. If I tilt it downwards, there you go. If you tilt it downwards, you can just about see it properly. See that? Okay, cool. Um, we've got the sapling logo. Sapling forever. If I tilt that downwards, there we go. I found the trick. So I'm looking over here because that's where I can see the uh, the picture right now. But we've got that one. And then... Oh, there's a letter here. Okay. Uh, hey, in the little wood, also known as Martin. I'm 12 years old and I love your live streams and videos. My name is Liam Greenwood. Hello, Liam. Hello, hello. More hello. I don't know. Um, my YouTube channel is GameCore, but my username is GreenyGames1. Uh, in this parcel are a few giraffes based on your catchphrase, you're having a giraffe, and some fan art. I really hope you like them both. I do. They're awesome. Uh, I would have given you some real lapis, but on such short notice, I could not get any. Sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Real lapis, by the way, is very, very expensive. Like, I'm talking thousands, thousands of pounds. Um, I would really love it if you sent me back an autograph on anything, really. Uh, did you put your address on this? Did you put a return address? I don't think you did. I, oh, no. I don't think you did. Okay, never mind. Um... Do, 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 where were we? Uh, for anything, really. Um, I would prefer it. It's not just to be a plain piece of paper. Oh, sorry, you put your address on the letter. Sorry, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I won't read that address out. Uh, oh, some questions, I think. Uh, what made you want to do radio as a job? Um, I think it was just because ever since I was little, somebody asked me this the other day. Um, Basically, ever since I was little, the one thing that I've always said I wanted to do as a job when I was older was I want to do it. This is the, my exact words as well from when I was a little kid. I said, I want to do a job that makes as many people happy as possible at the same time. So in that moment, when people watch the video, as many people as watch it or as many people listen to that live radio show, it's an instant reaction and it makes them happy. That's what I want. I like I like cheering people up. I like making people happy. So radio for me was the first medium that I found that I actually was good at and the first medium that I found that I could actually do you know some some good by and I could make people happy by so that's why it stuck with me and now you know I'm doing YouTube as a job you know and YouTube is just the same I make videos I see the viewer numbers I see the comments I see the likes and I know that I'm doing a good job and I know I'm making people happy and I you know people send me letters so you know that's got to show how happy I'm making people but uh but yeah so that's why I want to do it just because I like to do something that's entertainment based because I like to do creative things. But at the same time as that, it's all about making a mass of people, you know, feel good at the same time, which is good. Uh, number two, could you consider the giraffe drawing as a t-shirt for your site? Uh, I could always get Rachel to whip something up. Maybe we should get her you're having a giraffe shirt. Because I don't think that has anything to do with anything else. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get Rachel to whip a shirt up. So I shall consider it. Um, I want to do radio for a job, but where do I start? Uh, I actually started doing radio on Habbo. So, you know, Habbo Hotel, they have tons of radio stations. I'm actually on one this evening. If you want to come and listen to the show, uh, it's thishabbo.com. We're actually starting in about an hour and 20 minutes from now. So hopefully I can get this video out just before we start. There'll be a link in the description anyway. And we're on every Sunday. And uh, yeah, basically I went from online radio. And then I did hospital radio, which is like volunteering at the hospital radio station. Uh, and then I did student radio radio which was at the university they have student radio stations for most universities and some colleges as well i've noticed colleges have started doing it um and then i went from that into doing it as a proper job after i'd I've won a couple of awards in student radio which is what sort of convinced people that maybe i can do this as a job and then somebody gave me a job and it was really cool so i loved it um 
And it just says, thank you. Uh, if you got this, please pop a comment on my YouTube channel. Well, you'll see it today. Don't worry about it. Uh, and my email is blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read that out. Um, you give me joy in non boarding the seat. That's, that's why I do it. You've told me, you know, that you enjoy. I give you joy. So that that's why I do this as a job. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, thank you so much. Keep on making videos. Bye! Um, and sorry, my handwriting is very bad. No, your handwriting's fine. We've had a lot worse coming on the PO box. I was I was able to read that pretty swiftly. So not to worry, your handwriting is good. Uh, should we open one more piece? Which one should we open? Uh, do, do. Let me see if any of these catch my attention. Are there any little drawings or... Are there any cool, like, stamps? I'm, I'm a sucker for stamps. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, I'm opening this one. This one's really cool, actually. Right, cool. So, I'll show you the stamp. The stamp is badass. There's no addresses on the front, is there? No, okay. Okay, look at the stamp. Oh, my God. Brightness. I mean, if I tilt it downwards. Can you see the stamp? It's like this really weird, like, lady in red type thing. It's kind of cool. I like it. And then there's a little thing, actually, in the bottom corner as well. If you can see that. It's some kind of, like... I don't even know what that is. It sort of looks a little bit hieroglyphic, but I'm not sure. Uh, let me open this up. I didn't use my sword to open any of those things. Never mind. We're good. We're right. Okay, here we go. Last one of the show today. Uh, is that stuck on the inside? Ah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, there's fan art in this one as well. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me open this up a little bit. Yep, nothing else in. Cool. I'll put that letter over there. So, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Is there a letter that came with this as well? Oh, it's stuck on my tape. Hold on a second. There we go. Right, here we go. I'll read it out this way. So there's that one, and then there's that one. So you can enjoy that. I'll tell you what, you can enjoy the art on the back whilst I read it, okay? Uh, so it says, hello, Martin. I'm Ostbol. O-S-T-B-O-L-L, it's spelled. Uh, also known as Viking. Uh, I live in Finland. Uh, always when I'm sad, I watch your videos, and they make me smile. See? That's why I do it. Uh, and if you come to Minecon 2012, I'm, uh, I... I might see you. Oh, God, yeah. If you come to Minecon 2012, I want to make sure that anyone and everyone that wants to meet me gets to meet me, you know. You can come up to me at any point. Don't feel like at Minecon I was telling people, just say hi whenever. doesn't matter if we're in a, in the convention. It doesn't matter if I'm at the McDonald's up the road. It doesn't matter if I'm, you know, in the escalator, walking down the corridors, anything like that. Just say hi. It's, it's not a problem to me. Um, and it says, greetings and hugs from Finland. So you probably had time to check out all that art, which is, <laughs> which is awesome. You got me frozen as well down there. And he's done his own character too. So that's good. And I'll show you the, uh, the greetings and hugs bit as well there on the back, which is awesome. So there we go. So I think because we've had to change cameras and stuff, it's going to take a little bit longer to edit this today. So we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you want to send me anything in the PO box or send me an email or a tweet or a Facebook or anything like that, uh, then all the links are in the description or you can go to inthelittlewood.com and go to the contact pages. And that is it for inbox number nine, I think it is. So the next one's 10. <gasps> We've got to do something special for that, haven't we? Or should we just do a longer episode? I'm worried about doing longer ones because now you have to watch, like, two free adverts to watch, like, a half-hour-long video. It's something YouTube introduced today. But, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If you've got any ideas for what we could do for, uh, for this new one, then make sure you leave it in the comments section below. And let's have a code word. Um, the code word can be... Um, let's... Oh, what, what can the code word be? We should have the code word be in this. So we should have the code word be, I love being awesome. So put your comment and then like do the next line and then just put, I love being awesome. And then we'll see how many people have watched this point. But, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching everybody. That is it for today. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye. <laughs>